Okay, today we're going to learn about texture, contour line, and building value uh, by drawing a rope in reverse uh, with white charcoal or white colored pencil or a combination of both. Um, and there's a variety of different methods that you can use. Um, I'm going to be using the grid method. Um, now, what I'm working on right now is the outside contour of the rope. Um, and you can see that I drew little dashes to kind of give myself an idea of where the rope intertwines or braids, okay? Um, and you can look, if you look closely, you can see my grid on the black paper. Now, it is not the exact size as the knot on the reference. That doesn't matter. All, it, all that matters is that you have the same number of squares going vertically and horizontally. So all I'm going to do first is get the braid correct and I'm going to actually use my pencil to give me a guide as to where I think the strongest highlights are. There are some methods that say you should use black pencil on black paper. Do not do it. You can never get rid of the black pencil. <laughs> so just use your regular pencil. Um, and the first white that I'm laying down is charcoal pencil because I like how it blends um, and I'm going to show you in a minute how to do some blending with your blending stump so again just getting in the highlights and you always want to have your reference sitting directly above you or beside you I like having it above me because I can see where I'm at in the drawing better Okay, so I, I just used a, a Q-tip and now I'm using a blending stamp um, to pull in some of those medium values. You can already see how much depth and dimension you're going to get um, from just doing this part of the rope. It's kind of like magic. Now I'm going to take my colored pencil and I'm going to go in and I'm going to add the stronger highlights. And I'm also going to start to build in some texture. So I'm going to stop talking here for a minute and just let you watch. So I'm still using my colored pencil here to add highlights, strong highlights, and texture. And in a second I'm going to switch to my charcoal pencil. You'll know when I switch because the charcoal pencil is made of wood and the colored pencil is white. So I'm just using a combination charcoal and colored and white colored pencil. Whenever I want to do this nice blending um, with the blending stump, I need white charcoal on my paper. Okay, now that I've laid down quite a bit of charcoal and colored pencil, I am just getting a scrap piece of paper to place over my drawing so that I don't smear it unintentionally.
Okay, at this point I have my basic shading done and I'm just coming back in and adding those finishing details that make all of the difference. This is gonna add the texture to my rope drawing and that is part of your evaluation, so you wanna make sure you do that. Um, you can also use regular graphite to come back in, add a little bit more detail to your drawing and you're gonna see me do that for a little while and then I'm very close to being done. Now last but not least, I'm using my kneaded eraser to come back in and uh, pull out some of the lighter areas. 